Rivalries take center stage in week three of prep football, and the 55th Backyard Brawl gets featured in our game of the week. Holy Cross looks to extend its winning streak over Chalmette. Rummel saw its win streak over Shaw end last season. The Eagles try to keep the megaphone with a victory in the 62nd edition of their rivalry. And Pride put on the line in the battle of Lafouche Parish tonight on Fort Down Friday. We start in Metairie, Harlem Berry and St. Martin's looking for a 3-0 start hosting Patrick Taylor at Tony Porter Field. And Berry wastes no time right out the gate. He takes the handoff from Ashton Oliver, jukes the defender, and he's off to the races. 25 yards, Saints up seven zip. Then Berry again, this time off the draw and showing why he's the number one ranked running back in the state and in some recruiting services, the number one back in the nation. 40 yard house call this time. He opened the game with three tutties. Great seeing the offense there. Let's show some love to the St. Martin's defense. Ashton Oliver playing both ways for the Saints. Steps in front of the defective Patrick Taylor pass, and he goes 88 yards the other way for the pick six. St. Martin's cruises to a 42 to 12 win. A few area teams will start district play next week, but they've got to deal with some tough non-district tests tonight. What up? Welcome to Fourth Down Friday. I'm Ricardo LeCompte. We'll get to our game of the week over at Bobby Nuss Stadium in the parish in just a moment. Holy Cross and Chalmette battling all the way to the finish. But let's check out some more highlights and we'll start with Jesuit and Bonneville. Jesuit captured a nice win over state ranked Edie White last Saturday. The Blue Jays taking on Bonneville tonight at the Shrine on Airline slash Gold Mine. The Bruins looking for points right before the end of the first half down 24 nothing. Brandon Lewis goes deep. Find Cy or Farrell with the diving catch. Bonneville set up with first and goal inside the 10. Then Lewis on the keeper. Splits the Jesuit defenders, dives in for the score. Bruins on the board before the half, but it's all Blue Jays in this one. Five yard pass from Taylor Norton to Roman Larry to start the third. Jesuit beats Bonneville 38-14. Shaw snapped a long losing streak to rival Rumble last season and hoisted the megaphone trophy for the first time since 2007. The Raiders want the megaphone back, and they bring in a team to Joe Yenny Stadium tonight that's beaten Lafayette Christian and U High, two highly ranked teams in the state. Rumble gets a third ranked opponent in as many weeks. Shaw ranked seventh in the class, that's LSWA class 4A poll. These are not those highlights. This is actually Warren Easton and Slidell. Warren Easton getting a final tune up before their first Catholic League game. The Eagles visiting LV McGinty Stadium to face the Slidell Tigers. Easton lands the first punch. That was a Thomas Vaughn touchdown. Then on defense, how about a little interception? That was Leonard Watson doing the honors. And then Easton catches in off the takeaway. Second quarter now, Vaughn goes untouched up the middle for the touchdown. Easton beats Slidell tonight by the final of 21 to nothing. Let's stay on the North Shore. Lake Shore going for a 3-0 start to the year. The Titans visiting the North Shore Panthers. And let's see what this highlight is. There it is, Lake Shore and North Shore battling in Slidell tonight. Donovan Wellbacher back to pass for the Panthers. Beats the pressure finds Ramon Williams. He breaks that tackle and scores. That cuts the Titans lead to 27 to 10. Titans on the move now and a little double handoff in the backfield. Cato Pichon emerges from the pile and picks up a big gain across midfield later in the drive. Audrey Graw finishes the drive with a one yard touchdown plunge. Lake Shore leads at 34 10. At that point, they roll to a 41 10 win. They're 3 0 on the year. All right, let's get to that game of the week. Holy Cross navigated Catholic League play last season and earned the number one seed in the Division I playoffs. The Tigers trying to find out if they have a similar team this year. And a solid performance in the backyard brawl could show them. The Owls are coming off one of their most successful seasons in recent history, and they would like nothing more than to snap a six-game losing streak to Holy Cross. Seth Lewis watched this one at Bobby Nuss Stadium. He joins us live with more. Hey, Seth. Hey, Ricardo. Rivalry games aren't meant to be pretty, and for the first three quarters, that is exactly what was happening in this backyard brawl. But the fourth quarter was actually spectacular, and it was led by the greatest bounce in Shalmet history to help the Owls win their first time in this rivalry game since 2017.
rivalry games, you can expect teams to pull out all the stops, and Chalmette wasted no time getting tricky. On the opening kick, Oscar Deras Ortiz executing the pooch kick to perfection. It bounces right back to Roshan Addison, and the Owls are in business. But a three and out forces a 38-yard field goal, and Travis Borden is unable to convert. And that would set the defensive tone for the rest of the first half. There was only five first downs total in the first half, two coming by penalty, but one coming by this beautiful pitch and catch from Jake Levesque to Derek Johnson, and he turns up for a 25-yard gain, but they would end the first half with no score. But the action got really spicy in the fourth quarter. On a fourth and six, Breeze Wilson for Chalmette finds Axton Lopez for the 20-yard gain, and that puts them inside the five. And that would set up Tristan DuBose, who missed the kick earlier, but this time he makes up for it with the 23-yard field goal, and Chalmette leads 3-0. But Holy Cross had a response immediately with their own long drive that was capped with Caden Ando, punching it in from three yards out, and Holy Cross leads 7-3. So now it's Chalmette's turn to try to respond. Wilson finding Tanner Vincent. He fumbles, but Jaden Williams is Johnny on the spot. He scoops the fumble and takes it 80 yards for the greatest bounce in Chalmette history. Nine to seven, Chalmette leads. But the Tigers would have a chance to respond with under two minutes to go. Looking for a double reverse. Caden Ando on the pitch is not able to handle it. And Samaj Tap is right there to recover it. And Chalmette goes on for the victory, 9-7. to seven. I don't know. I'm very excited, very nerve-wracking. And on that last play that I scored on, oh, I couldn't believe it. What I seen in my two eyes, it was, I was very happy. And it was just an undescribable moment. The whole time I've been at this school, we've got to beat Holy Cross to have close games, and we haven't had close games. And so to pull it out in the last second like that, it just means everything. We've been wanting this my whole high school career. So all I got to say is, against this team here, a lot of balls don't bounce our way over the years. About time one bounced our way. That's where we are. Thank you. Honestly, the story of the night before that greatest bounce was just how good Chalmette's defense was, allowing only three first downs, two Holy Cross in the first half, as well as only one touchdown for the entire game. At Chalmette, Seth Lewis, WWL, Louisiana. To be lucky, then good. All right, Seth, thanks.